Hello and welcome back to another episode of Britain's Worst Run Football Club. If you haven't watched last episode, what a cracking episode you've missed. We are on fantastic run of form at the minute. Um, we... I don't think how many games we did play. I think we played from Swansea. So we beat Swansea 5-1. Uh, then drew 0-0 with Bristol City. Now Bristol City, they are uh, currently second in the table when we played them. Um... So, a respectable result with how things are going. Then, um, we played Ipswich, at, uh, who were top of the table. They've not lost all season. And um, we were, at a point, 3-1 up in this. 33 minutes. <sighs> and in true Football Manager style, we ended up conceding a goal late on. Uh, we ended up drawing the game, but again, they're undefeated this season, so um, respectable result. And then we bounce back with a 4 0 win against Cardiff. Um, Eddie Salcedo got a hat trick in this game, he's really started to find his uh, shooting boots. Um, so we scored about 12 goals, 12 goals in four games, which pretty good going now for this run of form. Run of games. We've got Sheffield United, Stoke, QPR, Peterborough, and Sheffield United again. Midfield department now. We're going to put James in on the bench. Hopefully, bring him in and uh, do a job where required. Uh, Joe Warrell with the famous number 45 as well. Joy. A very tough game coming up here. I mean, that looks like pretty much the team that they had in the uh, in the Premier League. Just gonna hope that our momentum. I don't think we've lost in five or six games, so let's just hope that we can get a get a result here. And also, uh, we don't want a result anywhere between Bristol City and Sunderland as well. All right, so Bogle down the left, but Lasme wins it, gives it to Chong. Chong do here, he's running to the byline. Put inside, into Almendra, Longello, hit that Longello. He has hit it off the post. Bogle manages to clear it out. And was that our highlight? It was our highlight. Lovely start so far away from home. We've got four shots, 64% uh, of the possession. We're in, we're in a good place at the minute. It's Lasme, Longello, the Almendra. Nice ball across into Chong. Chong heads it just over. We're going to shout at the man more. Just to keep this momentum going. Not really playing like the away team at the minute. Crystal City and Sunderland are still drawing, which is what we want. I was kind of the Ipswich they're winning as well. Humphreys is having a fantastic season for them so far. Right, wreckage to Andrade. That's a wreckage. He crosses in. Prongs in the middle. Headed towards goal off the crossbar. Managed to clear it away. We are all over them at the minute. But not able to get a uh, a clinical strike on goal just yet. We'll um we'll encourage him. We've been the better team. Kind of matching similarly with our, our formations as well. But this is normally the way. We will see like some really fluky goal here there's Norris and Davis Oliver to Egan Egan into Oliver the uh, oh, pronounce Alzete he hits it along Brewster on the left gets a cross in Borrell heads it out good header Lasme doesn't pick up the ball Oliver in for be the one we had last season Buenote Ogle into McBurney fantastic Juarez will take that. Take that all day long. So they're um they're attacking us a lot more now. Brewster into the box. Warrington Davis into McBurney. Warrell gets the block. Almendra clears it out. I think it's time. Substitute here. So Lasme and Carmelo not having a fantastic game, but our midfield here is uh 
very tired. Strong out on the right. We'll bring we'll bring Lowe's off here. Davis maybe for Lasme. We'll bring one for Carmelo. I mean, a draw wouldn't be the worst result, but I mean they have definitely come back into it in this uh, second half here. Sheffield United uh, brought their shots up. We are still dominating possession, but we haven't haven't threatened them in this this second half here. The so Fodderingham runs out, hits it long. Day has got it. I mean, wreckage. Good little tackle there. Into in Davis. Into Diego Morea. Nice little counter here into Lasme. Go on, Lasme. He hits it. 1 0. Ninth goal of the season. He's having a lovely start with us so far. I think he was a little bit slow last season when he came in. But, I mean, that lovely finish there shows uh, some confidence in his play as well. Lovely little layout from Davis there into Morea. Morea, nice pass into Lasme. And he's just rifled it. Pass Fodderingham. And fingers crossed. Nothing stupid. We're going to demand more from them. We're going to put our time waste another higher. We're just going to regroup and slow the pace down. Barnet at the back. Not to walk. The amount of goals we do concede later on does concern me with this. Basham. Not to Day. There's Ward. Oh. James and Dye, he's hit it over. That should be game over. Please. In. Nil. Love that. Moraes come in. Done very well for us. Give him some praise. Moves us up into third. And anyone else play? Bristol City and Sunderland Drew, which is good. Ips which won 5 0. Wow, wow, wow. Humphreys. Rafa Louise. We've put James in as well. Andrade for Bakuna. Just freshen up the defence a little bit as well. The, uh, the amount of games that are coming thick and fast. Like, I don't really want to uh, risk anyone. Unnecessarily. I'm going to get Davis on the bench as a striker. Thinking, do we start as an advanced forward? We'll, we'll try this for now. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of that many changes, but it's why we got a big squad. It was to uh, enable us to do this. Let's hope that Hogan has a quiet game against us. The so first highlight to Blues. Bakuna crosses it in. Quarrels at the back post. Wilmot comes out with it. Angelo wins it. There's Chong. I mean, just clipped the crossbar. Nice little chance that is. Although, if I'm honest, it never really looked like it was... Get a shout of the man Maury. Just as a highlight starts to stoke. Wilmot down the left, but Langillo gives it into Suarez. Suarez scares me there. Just, just lay it off. Into Maldo. Maldo to Chong. He swaps to the other wing now. Davies. Instead of a hit and hope that is. I'm not quite sure what that is. But Ben Wilmot brings it out. Into Mbete. That's the search of also Brown, Suarez. He does scare me. His eccentricity does scare me, I'll be honest. What are you going to do? That can't be the end of the highlight. Win to Maldo. Maldo to Chong. Chong over the top. There's Lasme. I mean, he's got some good physicals. Go on, Lasme. Hit that. Hit that. Just over. It is just over the bar. Nice little counter-attacking play there. Or he hits it long. Longello hits it out to Chong. Davis now. I mean, good tackle from Baker. Into Fox, into Dozel, into Brown. Should be a goal. 
It is. Is he offside here? No. Okay. Okie dokie. So. Is it against the play? Pretty solid. Uh, from both teams here, but. Never. Never easy to concede first. We've been on a good run of form. How are the other teams doing? Ipswich are finally losing the game. Fully continue and Bristol City are drawing to Watford as well. So, um, I'll be honest, it's not a game that I'm, I'm happy with how we are playing. <sighs> we'll, uh, we'll continue as we are. Hope we can, we can turn this around in the second half. At least it wasn't Hogan that scored. If there's any consolation in that at all. I mean, look at our players there are knackered as well. And nothing's happened in the first 20 minutes this half. So, as I say that, highlight for Sheffield United. Fox hits it down the line to Brown. Got goal sides. It has come off the post. Mangello, he clears it out. Right, let's uh, change our formation up here. Our strikers haven't been good enough. Davis is going to come off for Carmelo. The Hannibal's going to come on for Lasme. Long of Acuna have been fine, in all honesty. Longello can come off for Tibidze. Warrell can come off for yeah, Probably much as we can do so far. Yeah, we'll save one more. Save one more substitution. The Stoke. Into Gale. Into Wilmot. I mean, there's a lot of lot of time there for Wilmot. Let's uh, see what we can do. Maldo to Bakuna. Bakuna back to Suarez. And to Tabidze. He's an unfamiliar position of left back, but he can play there. So he's searching down the left, goes inside, gives it back to Cometio. Back to Tabidze. We'll start again with this attack. Inside to Alamendra. Cometio has it now. Into James. James coming off a long injury layoff as well. Nice ball to Hannibal. What can Hannibal do? Nothing. He gets shut down by Fox. Gives it back to Sterling. Into James again. Into Chong. Turns and shoots. Oh, just off the crossbar. Thought that had gone in. We will be looking to bring Chong off. We'll put Job. Job Bellingham in. Although I can kind of see this. Fizzling out. For a 1-0 loss. One more highlight. Taylor. Hits it long. Gal's running onto that. Suarez chests it down and boots it out to the left. Bellingham's got it. Apparently Bellingham's out on the left now. Bakuna's in the centre. But we'll just stick as we are. Bellingham dives in. Going is there. Naivety there, I think. De Haney into Laurent. Hits it over to the right. Where's Sterling? Sterling's in there. It should be 2-0 now. Oakley Booth. Brown. Called it. Baker Brown with his second of the game. Fourth of the season. You know, we had to go for it. They've got us on the counter attack here. Nice little uh, little jig in the corner. And we've lost at home. Carmelo being quiet. I think losing Salcedo for five weeks is uh, not ideal at all. So, Almendra over the top. Hannibal's there. Fox heads it back to Maxwell. I'm not quite sure what this kind of highlight is going to be because it's not that. Maxwell hits it out to the, to the right. Our right, their left. Sterling into Aldo. I mean, I don't see two goals coming in the next few minutes, so. 
game. If you can just have the story up and just, just end, end the game and the highlight, I'll be very grateful. Hannibal, into Bakuna, into Carmelo. Goes wide and just doesn't do anything of any use to anyone. This, I think our, uh, our fitness really did show then. Bit of a shame. At least Hogan didn't score though. But I hope that we can uh, pull it back now against QPR. I wonder if we can um, interact. And we'll warn him about the poor performance. Let's see if that does anything going forward. Who else hasn't played well? Bear Davis hasn't played well. So we'll, um, we'll warn those two as well. Everyone else, they're, you know, they're, they're just playing fine, aren't they? Let's hope we can turn this around. In the table wise, they are 21st. Crystal City, I've got Crystal Palace. I didn't see actually if uh, Ipswich lost their game against Southampton. The Maldo out to Chong. Chong cuts inside from the right. Long searching ball out to the left where Bakuna is. We've got Davis in the middle and Carmelo out wide to Chong. Chong gets the header. Thank you, football manager. I mean, that goalkeeper was absolutely dreadful. But maybe that's maybe that's karma for what happened just in the player final. No idea. Chong spreads it wide out to Bakuna. Bakuna puts inside, long ball to Chong. I mean, Dieng just, just flaps at it. A pretty simple goal. Got some good fortune. Right, Bakuna. Morals at the back post. It does go just over the bar, though. We'll demand more. Although we have been the uh, the aggressor team, so we'll just need to keep this going. But we'll look back to Fisher. Fisher's are done. To Johansson. Out to Fisher. Good pressing here by Davis. Look with him. Into Dunn. Again, good press by Davis. Yang, he hits it out towards the right, their left. Chong wins the header though. Aldo should win this as well. He does win it off Willow. He goes into James. Almendra, lovely rangy ball that is to Carmelo. Carmelo goes past Yang, who's having a really poor game. And <laughs> I'm so glad that Carmelo scored that. He has put it in. 2-0. That should give us... Should give us the win. I mean, and you can kind of see why... UPR are down in that position if that's their goalkeeping and their defending as well. It is nice to see Carmelo on the score sheet, especially after kind of giving him a bit of a rollicking. Very happy with this so far. We'll say we expected a little bit more from them. Don't want to be getting complacent. Four minutes after half time, Willock crosses it in. You Johnson even, not Johansson. Hits it well wide. But Almendra, he's having a good game. Bakuna's having a good game. Carmelo. Looks like he's gonna pick up an injury. So we're gonna bring on Lasme. Uh, James can come off. No, we'll bring off Almendra. We'll pause this. Uh Almendra for Arone. Bakuna can come off. For Araya. Kong as well for Hannibal. Then we'll save kind of our last sub 
the James. We'll bring him on now. But 2 0. Let me make it 3. Diego Maria. Aldo at the back post. Dianga saved it. Duke McKenna. What a dangerous looking appearance that was. What about us in these little stalls? I want to go in there after the game. So Diego Maria. Passes it in. Warren at the back post. The so Paul wins the header. Bellingham chases it down. That can't be the highlight. The Maldo. Okay, not seeing a goal on technology won't go in just yet. And Mangello again now. Starting with the uh the long throw to no one. Rone picks up outside the box, into Bellingham, into Wreckage. To Bellingham. To Warrell. Out to Maldo. To Warrell, to be fair, he's coming. He's shown his quality. And a ball on the left. We've got last man. Davies in the middle. Headed out. Out to Duke McKenna. Out to the right, but Rekic is there. And I know that Artes wanted him to play in centre defence, but he's going to play it right back for us. Diego Maria. That's a red card by Johansson. It's absolutely annihilated on the right hand side there. There you go. Straight red. Shocking challenge. Could be game set and match. How are the other results going? Bristol City are losing to Crystal Palace. Tasmay picks ball up off Rekic. Into Maldo. Into Perone. Back to Maldo. Back to Rekic. Bellingham. Maldo. To Warren. He hits it long up there. Clark Salter heads it out. Raya loses out the header, but Bellingham picks it up again. Into Perone. Into Lasme. I mean, Davis is offside here. Tags up. Even though it won't count, it was a nice finish. We don't need to see. Another highlight starts. Yang hits it out wide to the left. Hannibal wins the header. Davis into Bellingham. The Warrell. I mean, we'll. Come to focus here. We don't want anything silly to happen. Angelo, the Warrell. He's on a 6.9, it's not the worst. Bellingham long ranging ball. Davies to chase down. Fisher clears it away. Perone into Hannibal. Puts inside. Is he going to shoot? He is. It was never going to go anywhere. Well over the bar. Ipswich are losing. So Ipswich, they're. Uh, they are beatable. And Palace have gone 3-1 up against this Bristol as well. And this is the future. Bellingham, Corona, Elasme. Davis in the middle. It'll be nice for Davis to get a goal. Corona picks it up though. He's just hit it a little bit wide. Both on a good run of Bournemouth as well. They're beating Bournemouth. I mean, very much needed that was. Um, we're going to praise him for that. It was a good win. Yeah, we'll have a look at this. Here we go. Ah, oh, not any more than five lone players. Who do we bring on? Maybe Maria. We'll bring Maria on. Put Andrade on. Just see how we get on. I hope we can pick up from where we left off last time. If we can get another win, we'll be very happy with it. James will go uh, Warrell's first uh, as a centre back for us. First clean sheet, so hoping that gives him a lot of confidence. Taylor into Jones. James wins the ball. Rekic gives it to Lasme. Loses out to Jones, but Maldo picks it up. Almendra to Maldo. Out to Warrell. Into Almendra. Nicely into Davis. It's tackled by Knight, but Almendra wins it again. Into Chong. Go on, Chong. Lasme hits it in, though. Love that. Tenth goal of the season for Lasme. Oh, that's a lovely little dance. Don't know what he's doing, but he, he looks happy. A Warrell into Almendra. 
into Davis, nice turn around the corner. 100 picks up again into Chong, just get tackled off him, but Lazme's there to fire it past Davis. Picked up where he's left off, Lazme. Hanson Aaron, up to Osho. Peter trying to uh, exploit down the right hand side for them, our left. Hooks to Taylor, Hanson Aaron, into Jones, a bit worried about this. Up to Osho, but Longello sees him inside. Osho is allowed to turn and run into the box, so this should be a goal for them. Spooned it way over the bar. I mean, that was nice by Osho, but how is Osho? I mean, there's nothing special about him. Out of contract at the end of the season. We are currently sitting in fourth position here, so Rekic into Almendra. Long range of all out to Hannibal. And he hasn't got the pace. Osho has won it. Into Knight. To Fuchs. Who hits it long. Quarrel's got time to bring it down. To Almendra. Nicely into James. Good interplay there. James. Bit of a dangerous ball. Bowler wins it. Donnelly runs with it. James is trying to track it down. Chung's at the back as well there. Is that Ricky J. Jones? Chung wins the ball. Almendra runs into danger into Taylor. Donnelly, Hanson Aaron. Leaves Longello. Longello's just run into danger and Poku has poked it in. Not sure what Longello was doing there. Not happy with that at all. Peterborough pick us back with the quarter of the hour mark. Don't want to see that again. Ipswich and Bristol City, are they both playing today? Ipswich are drawing. Poku crosses it in. Taylor at the back post. Hanson Aaron should hit that. He has. It's just gone over. Who else? Ipswich are now winning. Bristol City got Reading and they're drawing. I mean, this kind of is a game that we should be winning here. So Samuel Suarez... Out to Worrell. Into Longello. I think we are missing Salcedo. Especially after him coming into form as well. The Hannibal on the left. Lovely ball over to Lazme. What can Lazme do? He has hit it. But Fitchiabu just clears it out to Osho. Poku. Longello heads it in. Osho into Hanson Aaron. Into Taylor. This may be actually danger for, for them rather than for us. Poku. Lovely ball out to Ricky J. Jones. He runs down on goal and he does put it in. That's very disappointing to see. But fair play to Peterborough. They've hit us on the counter. And we can't do much about it. Just before half time. Hopefully, the last highlight of the game of the half, I should say. Hannibal crosses it in. Morrill heads it off the crossbar. That's unfortunate. Hogan's just scored for Stone. And I think it might be for a bottle time. Davis can come off as well. But we'll do that in around the 60 minute mark. Aldo into Wreckage. Rekic cuts inside, gives it to Almendra, gives a loose ball away. Pietro allowed to attack us again. Bowler on the left, into Ricky J. Jones, that's a simple ball into Donnelly. Longello gets a touch on it, but Osho puts it back in, now Worrell. Here's on the outside of his boot up to Davis. Almendra, into Chong, that is the end. Highlight. Animal with a corner for us. Crosses it in, Worrell at the back, off the bar, Worrell does put it in. Thank you, Joe. Very happy with that. Hannibal seems to be playing okay. Uh, Almendra can strong there. Could do better. So can Davis as well. And Longello is having a bad game, so we might be looking at bringing those on. You know, we'll do it now. We'll make these changes now. 
So Longello, the Tabidze, Almendra, the Perone, Strong. Andrade. I'm going to bring off Davis for Armello. We'll go with that. I think this is normal. What was happening in the game before I made the changes? Well, I hope it is anyway. Baku down on the right. Looks into Taylor. He's hit it, deflected, and goal kick. So, yeah, it was just a just a standard highlight. We'll demand more. Poku's going to cross it in. Knight at the back post. Warrell heads it clear. Hansen brings it in. A lot of danger on the outside of the box there. Spread out to Taylor on the left. It's good pressing by us, but Peterborough allows to bring the ball out. Over the ball to Poku. Barmy Poku with his second goal of the game. I don't... We'll get a scout report, but... It's very concerning, this. It is very concerning. They go 3 2 up. Crystal City is still drawing. Ipswich are winning. I'll be quite lucky to have a draw now. The Worrell into Maldo. The James. Back to Maldo. Lasme is offside. Andrade isn't. What can Andrade do? Into Lasme. James is shot and it's gone in the bottom corner. Well, well, well. Well done, Jordan James. Well done indeed. Nazme, I think we're going to bring Nazme off. Tins up Bell. Get a bit of pace up front. Advance forward. Um, let's go dual advance forwards here. So Peterborough with Burrows crosses it in. Borrell heads it out. Needs to be more, more from our defence pushing out here. Burrows again. Taylor on the outside of the box. He hits it inside. Worrell closes it down. Andrade turns and clears. Carmelo with the chase, but Poku just easily heads it into Osho. And Knight has it as well. Back to Poku. Bola down the left. Who's this here? Rekic. He needs to be doing a lot better here. Inside to Taylor. I see Poku here for his hat trick. Taylor's running. Should have done a lot better there, Taylor. I'm going to demand more. Last 10 minutes of the game. It's been pretty even looking at the shots. We've had more possession, but that is how we play anyway. So, Juarez to Warrell. Warrell to Tabidze. Into Hannibal. Four ball. Carmelo can't do anything with it. I'll be honest, I can see us losing this. Clark Harris. Taylor. He hits it long. Wreckage is out of position. Juarez just puts it in. You can read Football Manager quite easily in this game. Just felt from that highlight that we were going to get punished. And we have them. 4 3 away from home to Peterborough. That's such a. 4 4 game. Not happy at all with that. Yeah, we'll rest some. And we'll go with this. Hopefully we can end on a high. Let's face it. Win-loss, win-loss. Could be a win. Oh, 
strong nonetheless. Yeah, that's a long yellow. Loses the boulder, but gives it into Almendra. Puts it inside Almendra. He's going to curl it from a distance, and what a cracking thing that is. Proven to be an inspired signing Garmin. Lovely little orange jig there. I'm assuming it's the uh, line dancing. I mean, I thought Longino had lost it there, but Almendra picks it up. Puts it inside, and what a death finish. Pass the following goal. I think Sheffield United are going to be glad to see the back of us. Bristol City against Sunderland. That's a big game as well, coming up. The Norrington Davies into Down. Robinson. Norrington Davies again. Long ball over. Their players stop running. Who was that? I'll be furious if Mackenzie. I'll be absolutely furious if that was my player then. Stop running. Bidze. Almendra. Cometio. Corona. Out to Rekic. Rekic Ralph, I want to call him. Strong on the right. Puts inside. Into Perone. Lasme. Holds it up well. Gives out to Almendra. Into Bakuna. Nice play here. Great ball to Lasme. Come on, Lasme. Finish this off. Finish this off. How would a puff effort. Ipswich are playing MK Dons later on today. Sunderland are now beating Bristol City, so Bristol City are dropping down. We were going 1 0 up against Sheffield United, they haven't. Touch wood, they've not really bothered us just yet. Bakuna wins it on the left, into Alamendra. Had a nice game so far, the bids there. Eh? Angelo. Quite nice, we've, we've got quite a large squad now. It's nice to see them all kind of get in the game and being of enough quality to be a first teamer. Bakuna across to Carmelo. 2 0. Love that, Carmelo. Well done. Great after half time. I'm going to send him some encouragement now. But Lasme did fantastic here as a target forward. Inside to Bakuna. Crosses it into uh, Carmelo, who heads it. In for his second. I'm gonna make some changes. I'm gonna bring Eldron at right back. I know he's not really a right back. Uh, Lazame is gonna come off for Davies. Bakuna's playing well, so we're gonna take Chong off for Moraya. So it's now to Kieran Dow on the Left for them, right for us. Rekic, let's sing it past. Makasi picks it up. Norrington Davies, that's running inside. Chong wins it off him. Gives it to Lazme. Lazme is tackled by Mane. Carmelo picks it up though. He's hit it. Oh my god, what a goal. <laughs> what a goal by Carmelo. That was absolutely sensational. Where did that thunderbolt come from then? Davies loses out to Chong. Chong into Lasme. Tackled by Mane there. Carmelo, he's hit it from a good 30 yards, 35 yards. Absolutely fantastic. 3 0 up. Keep it going. Fodringham to Mane. Fodringham heads it out to Boulder. Who heads it inside? Morea picks it up. Is it to Almendra? Out to Tabidze. Almendra. Angelo, very comfortable stuff. The bids say, Cometio. Out to Elder, into Perone, into Bakuna. Lovely one touch passing. Not the best pass from Bakuna though. Sheffield United are allowed to run away with it. I'm going to take Elmender off and bring on Rafael Luis. Uh, McAtee's running at our defence here. Brewster's in on goal. Four. Oh. Poor positioning, poor goal all around. Elder got caught out. I don't want to watch that again. Right, to Bidze. 
Let's uh, let's demand more. Diego Maria on the left, but Davies and Carmelo. Carmelo's on his hat trick. Angelo at the back. The bid zone. Rafa Luis over the top. Davis is there. What can Davis do? He's going to hit it and don't know how he scored that. That's a cracking goal. Didn't need long. Pull back a three goal cushion. And this will do it a massive favour to our goal difference. Angelo to Tabid Zane. Rafa Luis. Davis. Does he hit it first time? He does hit it first time. Cracking goal. Nice to see that he's starting to uh, come in with the goals, especially after his hefty wages that we have given him. Davies again. Into Long Yellow. Rafa Luis. Yellow again. Long ball over to Bakuna. Bakuna heads it. That's such a weird, weird attempt. Davis again on the left hand side. Cuts in. Bakuna. He's hit it across to Diego Moreos off the crossbar. Vogel clears it out. Can Bakuna pick it up? He can. Is that the end of the highlight? Well, he gets fouled on the left hand side. Wins the free kick. Elder on the right now. Into Maria. Back to Elder. Bellingham out to Rafa Luis. Probably should have scored there. But 4-1. We're not going to complain. Watford, they've just... Annihilated Peterborough. Three quick goals. Crystal City are losing. Stunt. They've pushed themselves into their uh, automatic promotion place there. And that win will have helped us out massively. Also. Very tight for second position. Hip switch again. They're probably too far ahead of us. But we'll see how they get on. Bakuna played well. I think for that, we'll, uh, we'll end it there. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, if you don't already, drop a follow, if you made it to the end. Tell me what your favourite crisp. And I'll see you on the next episode. Goodbye.